Hi, Blake with Boulevard Home, and today, I'm kind of excited about today because today we're going to talk about this unit behind me. This is the new Electrolux tower unit. This is kind of like the LG tower unit, but this is Electrolux's unit. We're going to tear this thing apart, see how it works, and give you my impression, see how well if I think it's going to be worth your hard-earned money to buy this unit. First off, my first impression of this unit, well, it's pretty dang nice if you ask me. I, I think it looks pretty sharp. Well, and kind of looking at the basic build of it from the outside, I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but on the outside, it looks a lot like the regular Electrolux washer and dryer that are separate units, but just smaller. And if it is, and some of you have seen my other videos, I am a big fan of the Electrolux washers and dryers and front load. I think they're fantastic. I think they're the best units out there. So let's tear this thing apart and see what it's like. Wow, that is slick. And looking at this, this is this is pretty nice because you know it wasn't very hard to take this panel off. Um, the you know our control boards are right here for this unit, and this really isn't going to be a tear apart video. I'm not going to show you all the little things. We're not going to show you the little things, but I will tell you from a servicing aspect, and you know say, well, then why does it matter to me? It's just a servicing aspect. Well, from a servicing aspect. Anything that's easier to fix and easier to get into for you, the consumer, in the long run, it's going to save you money because if it takes us longer to get into these units and tear into these units, it's going to cost you more money. So, so far, pretty impressed. So at this point, the panel is completely off. Didn't take very long. So... And like I said, if you ever have any problems with these boards down here, the, the user interface boards, man, really slick. But I'm going to tell you honestly, if this is as good as the other Electrolexes are, there's, very, there's probably only going to be a few of you that are really going to have problems with these boards because they've been rock solid for a lot of years. So, okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can find in here. Got all the screws off from the front panel on this thing and I'm going to take it off now. One thing I must tell you that I really like the manufacturer did is they've made these little grooves and, and when they made when they uh, stamped out the metal they made these grooves uh, to get your drill bits in to be able to get these screws or the handle or your handle of your screwdriver or the shaft of your screwdriver. Uh, I know it's not the handle, please don't correct me, but it is the shaft of the screwdriver down in there. So uh, when you're taking the screws out, you don't mar the finish of the, of the unit, which I really like. So uh, it's just a little thing. And again, for you, the consumer, you'd be like, eh, no big deal. But for me, I think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, this hose here, this is, this is uh, one of our hoses that come off, that come off our dispenser right here. So, yeah, it looks like it's an overflow for, for the dispenser up here where uh, it can come back right here and, and, and where it, water can come down and go out right here. On the opposite side here, this, this white tube right here, this comes down to our recirculating pump, which is right down, which is located right here. Right here, my finger's touching it right here. That's our recirculating pump. And this is our drain pump right here. This is our drain pump. And this right here is our condensate pump. Um, and what that pump does, and that's, that's one thing that um, I really like about Electrolux, I will tell you honestly, because when you're washing, um, all that soap and all the stuff gets heavy and it gets down to the bottom of the drum and basically it has nowhere to go. Electrolux is the only one that I know of that has this pump. And what that pump is for is it turns it on when you're in the wash cycle. And so as you're all that 
heavy stuff, your soap and stuff goes to the bottom of the machine. It turns on that pump and it brings that soap back to the surface. So your clothes as they're tumbling goes through all that soap and, and that's that pump right there. And that's, and that's like a, a thing that just electrolytes use, which is really nice. But that's what this little pump is for right here, is to recirculate that, that stuff as it gets heavy back up to the surface of the water. So as your clothes are tumbling through it, it gets them cleaner. But so far, I will tell you honestly, this is just like an Electrolux full size unit. It really is. It's, I'm quite impressed, it, you know, because it's, for being a tower, I was expecting a little bit of a nightmare. I was thinking, oh no, what have they changed? This is going to be really hard to work on. But this one, pretty impressed. So let's, let's continue on and see what else we can find. Some of you in this video you might be able to see you see this big piece of styrofoam right here and, some, and somebody's saying, well, why is that there? Well, it's not supposed to be there. That piece is there for shipping purposes. We just haven't removed it yet. Um, but uh, you tip the machine back, you reach up, you pull this out, and then it gives the machine the flexibility to move up and down. Right now it's locked into place. Um, but again, as you can see from the front of the first of the video that uh, this unit is brand new. I mean, we just barely took it out of a box. So... Um, we're tearing it apart before we even turn it on. So I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, but that's what we're doing. I think it's one of those obvious things that we kind of, I kind of glossed over, but a lot of you don't open these up and see them. So let me, tell, let me explain to you what it is. So when you look at this, you're gonna look at this video. And you're gonna say, what is these big things right here? Short answer is it's concrete. <laughs> it, that's all it is, it's concrete. It's a counterbalance that they have to the front of the drum. The counterbalance is uh, the motor and everything is on the back of the drum. That's what keeps your drum straight. So, so basically these are uh, cement blocks molded this. So if you wonder why your front load washer is really heavy, well, that's why, because it has concrete in it. So, oh, so there's your trivia for the day. You can ask your buddies, did you know your front loader has concrete in it? And they'll say, no, it doesn't. And you say, yeah, it does. So <laughs> anyhow, looking back here with my flashlight, this little guy right here, that's, that's what's at your, they're going to call it something else, but I've always known it as a pressure switch. That's what uh, determines how full your machine is uh, for water. Um, and it tells the computer how full it is, so it knows when it is full. That is very easily accessible the way it is. Um, behind that, way back in there, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, there's a, there's a black box. That black box is uh, the main computer. That is the, the main board for the washing machine. Um, that's about the same spot that it's located uh, in the full size one. Um, with that, I am a little concerned uh, as far as serviceability. Um, to get to that unit, to get to that box, if it does fail, uh, we definitely might have to uh, pull the dryer off the top of this unit to get to that. Um, the only thing that I could see we have to pull it off for is right is right back up in here is if um, your water valve assembly, which is on the back side of was on the back side of this right here, uh, we may have to replace that at some point down the road. Um, if we do, um, it may the dryer may have to come off the the top to replace that also, but. For water valves, water valves very rarely fail, honestly. They very rarely fail. Um, 25 years ago, I was replacing water valves like candy. I mean, I was replacing five or six a week. Now I'm lucky if I replace six a year for all appliances um, so and all manufacturers. So water valve failures have really ground to a halt because the manufacturers are building them right. Uh, because they are used a lot in a lot of different appliances from your washers to your dishwashers. Uh, you know, they're very well used and they always have been used and now they're even included in dryers when you have your steam dryers. So uh, they've really got these down to an art uh, unless you're a uh, certain manufacturer, Samsung. Um, those happen to fail quite a bit in their side-by-side -side bottom mount refrigerators. But other than that, they're fine. They're actually pretty, pretty reliable. My just first impressions now, I've looked at the washing machine over really good. I am really impressed with it. So, um, so let's, let's take apart this dryer and see if that's built just like I think it is.
Okay, right here, this is our main this is our main control board for our dryer right here. This is our main control board. This right here, this is our this is our valve for uh, our our steam system, our mist system right there. And that right there, this is this is the belt, and that is the belt that drives this whole dryer. And people look at that and they see it, they say, that little belt drives that thing round and round. Yes, it does. It's not very big and they never have been, but that is the the belt that drives this drives this drum around. And again, I'm sound like I'm starting to sound like a broken record when I'm saying this. This dryer, looking at it from the top, this is a Electrolux dryer that they've been building for years, uh, and it's just been made a little bit smaller for to for this wash tower. So. Let's let's tear apart the front and let's let's see if it's still the same on the insides underneath underneath the drum. And look, a use in care manual. Please read your use in care manual. This is the most important document on this thing. It's gonna save you such a hassle. I know, uh, again, if I watch my videos, you say, are you talking about it again? Yes, I'm talking about it again. Right here. Good information in this thing. Well, once again, my suspicions are right. This is a miniaturized Electrolux dryer. Um, this is our, is our ductwork, our blower housing with our blower wheel right located right here. Uh, this is our front panel. This is our light up here. Our light right back here is our heating element in this in this big box right in that in the in this little thing right back here. Our motor is located right over here, way back in there. You can see that. But this. This is hands down a miniaturized front load washer and dryer set. It's like a compact washer and dryer set uh, that they've made specifically for this tower. So I am extremely happy with this unit. And now again, I don't know how well it's going to do, but I'm going to tell you because it's so new, I'm going to tell you this for sure. I would buy this unit in a heartbeat because I know how good this washing machine with, with built like this has been. I know how good this dryer has been and it's the same except it's in this nice tower form so you can put it into uh, a small closet or you can put it into your master closet you know so you have laundry in there. I would not be afraid to buy this unit for a half a second so, so again. I'm really impressed. All right, now let's put this thing back together. But we have lots of other videos for you to watch. So, so, you know, please like and subscribe and you can check out all these other videos and we'll find out lots of interesting stuff you may or may not want to know, but at least you'll have that information and information is power. So thanks for watching.